and welcome back to the MLB pregame show as we prepare you for game two of our series with the always important Topps player spotlight. Tom Seaver is in that spotlight. And what a dominant performance he put together in his last start. He had opposing batters off balance throughout and racked up a boatload of strikeouts. Yeah, he just looked like he was really in control out there. And you know, sometimes you can tell a guy is going to dominate from the moment he sets foot on the rubber. They just exude confidence and their body language kind of says, he ain't touched me today. That's what I saw in him. I, even though I was a hitter in my career, it was really fun to watch him make those other guys look silly. We'll see if he's still in top shape in this matchup here today. All right, the guys and I will be back to get this one started on the show right after this. Now from just outside the core of the Big Apple, MLB The Show has baseball from City Field in Flushing. It's the penultimate game of the year between the American League's Houston Astros and the New York Mets. And before we get on with things here this evening, a look at the two starting lineups we'll see featured tonight. And we'll also give you a quick look at our two starting pitchers as you see their numbers right there. Altuve a move towards the batter's boxes. We're just about set to get underway tonight. Now here it comes. Good pitch there. This is swung on and missed for the first out of the ball game. So the rookie passes his first test here on the mound. And with that, let's take a look at the defense for the New York Mets. It's brought to us by Majestic. If it happens in baseball, it happens in Majestic. Dexter Fowler will stride in now. Two hits for him, including a home run in two. And that's his strikeout pitch right there. You know, you'll see a lot of guys swing right over the top of that one. That's a great job there just to hold off. Very sharp here to these first two hitters. Back-to-back -back strikeout. Doesn't look like it took him long to settle in here at home. Castro, the catcher, is in. As he will look at a first. That's the 2 2 pin. Struck him out, so he makes quick work of him here. Three straight strikeouts, and his side is retired. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. Bottom of the first, straight ahead. We are scoreless on the show. Chris Carter will dig in, and this season certainly hasn't been all that kind to him as he enters play with the average. Here he comes on two and two. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Right over the top here with the four-seam fastball. Good drive through the release. Just threw it right by him at the letters. Here's George Springer. Changes up on him at that. Now this is swung on and dribbled up the first Come baseline. On, Throw on to first, two gone. Matt Dominguez will stand in for the first time now, and he does so with 22 home runs on the ledger so far. Coming up. And he struck him out, so he was forced to make nine pitches that at bat, but he'll take it as the inning is over. Astros go down 1-2-3. They still trail 1-0. Tom Seaver will stand in, and you can almost guarantee he'll be trying. Here we go. Here's another 1-2. Hey, right now here. a ball slapped hard the opposite way. Victor, Victor, That's in there, base hit. And they're content to play station to station here as the bases are loaded now with still nobody out. And with no DH, this is one area that you have to give the National League team a little bit of an... 
Alex Presley will get his first shot at it here. And he's got to be hoping to turn things around because you see the numbers over the last five games. Not much going on there at all. Pitch on the way. Swing and a miss as he picks up yet another strikeout. Six of them already. And there's one gone in the inning. And as we showed you in the open, he's out there putting his perfect record on the line. And so far, these guys haven't shown many signs that they're ready to put a one in that loss column. Marwin Gonzalez will stand in. Now here it comes. And he struck him out as well. So the bottom of the order providing little resistance here and there are two away. Well, right now, he is just carving them up, dare I say, like a Thanksgiving turkey. That's seven strikeouts already, and he's made it look easy so far. Jared Kozart will stand in here. Hey, get your pitch up there and do something. With and he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ballgame, and that one ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Astros. They're down two to nothing. Jose Altuve will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. Boy. And in the first two games of this series, he's already struck out a total of four times now. You get to where you just hate taking that walk back to the dugout. I'll tell you, it's a very frustrating feeling. Here's Dexter Fowler now. Well hit, deep down the right field line, and, and the pitch. And he struck him out, the 10th victim set down on strikes thus far. Man, not only has he not allowed a hit to this point, but he's also faced the minimum so far. You can't do much better than that. Jason Castro will stand in here, hoping to offering on the way. And this runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. Chris Carter will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first. The 1 2. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ballgame, and this one ends the inning. One left for Houston. They're still down. It's 2 0. George Springer will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. Right on the knees. Uh, he's just rolling right now, and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ballgame. Not only has he rung up a lot of strikeouts, but he still hasn't walked a batter at this point, so his control has been really, really spot on so far. Here's the third baseman, Matt Dominguez. First Right here. Come on now. now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. It, move it, move it. In time He's to out. first, and there are two away. <laughs> Alex Presley will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. Hey, come on now, big dog. Oh, and he drives one into deep right center. Neuenheis has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the side. Through five without allowing a hit. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Mets two and the Astros nothing. Marwin Gonzalez will get things started here in the top of inning number six. How important is it going to be for this guy to throw that curveball for strikes? I don't know that he necessarily needs to ever throw it for a strike. I mean, if it's around the plate and he's getting guys to go after it, doing its job, but if he starts to get too high or too high, this pitch is also in their knee high, and now they've got him behind in the count, 0-2. And did he hold up in time? A look down, and no, he went around. It's strike three. Boy, this guy's got him the lead back in the very first inning, and he hasn't looked back since. He's had everything go his way so far, and this inning's turning out to be nope. Here's the pitch. And he struck him out. So it might be time to begin the countdown as he's now gone through six innings without allowing a base hit. Astros go down one, two, three. They 
trail things here two to nothing. Dexter Fowler will stand in to start the seventh with that Houston. big zero. Right there, Murphy at second. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow! And for you at home, all I'm going to do is direct your attention to the hits column right there. It is what it is here in the second. Seven outs away now. If you're a fan of pitching, this has been the game for you. I mean, these two guys have both been exceptional so far. Just two runs allowed between both of them. And of course, it makes a broadcast awfully happy because this game has slowed by. Here's Chris Carter now. As he takes for one and two. Three. Struck him out to retire the side, so he's through seven complete, still working on a masterpiece. One, two, three, go the Astros. They're down two to nothing. We'll get the ball now as he'll take over on the mound to start the home seven. Tom Seaver will buy himself another at bat, and in turn, he'll get himself a nice little ovation for the work he's turned in on the mound so far. Uh, he's been great. This is an appreciative crowd. They like what they've seen, and I don't blame them. Oh, and this is hit high and deep out to left. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. He's coming. Relay, relay. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. How about this show of power? I think it's fair to say that this was pretty much unexpected. He nearly gets his ball out of the ballpark. Boy, I mean, where did that come from? He almost looked like he knew what he was doing. George Springer will stand in, and he, like so many others, strike two. And he struck him out for the first out of the inning, but perhaps more importantly, he's five outs away now. And just another outstanding pitch right there. And it's not easy to do with so much on the long strike. Got him. Four outs away from his date with history. Well, a huge out number two here in the eighth. Four big outs remain, but finish line starting to come into sight. Alex Presley will stand in now with two away, needing to really get something. The guy, he would have gone fishing. Now a swing as he shoots out. this one over get to first. Out. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Astros go down one, two, three. They trail in this one, three nothing. Marwin Gonzalez will dig in for the third time now. Blow, but called a strike anyway. Nothing in two now. Put yourself in the shoes of that man right there. What's going through his mind right now? Well, I would guess he's trying to approach his ninth inning the same way he has earlier, but come on. We know it's hard to race him. Just got to focus on the glove and rush the protection call because Ready with another two-strike offering. And a swing and a bouncing ball back up the middle. On to first, and now the Astros are up against it, down to their final out now. Oh, and this crowd is really going to be up and into it now. One out to go. Man, this is awesome. Now here's the first pitch. Jose Altuve is at the plate as he watches ball one. And even though on the mound, he's had his way. This is a dangerous customer, so don't get to thinking you're bulletproof. White will smartly make sure this stays a foul ball. Down low, two balls and a strike. Here it comes. He's falling behind now, three and one. Well, I think it's time to attack now because these guys haven't been in too many good hitters' counts. This is where you need to pounce. And a fly ball, and this should do it. Lawrence is there. Makes the catch, and there it is, a no-hitter. Well, he's down there getting swarmed by his teammates right now, and he deserves it. Truly one of the best pitching performances that I've ever witnessed. And he puts his name into the record books with that no-hitter.
this one. Definitely a low scoring affair as we get one last look at our final line score. lot of debate as to the identity of our top player of the game. Yeah, probably the easiest player of the game decision we'll have to make all year. He got some help along the way from his defense, but all in all, this is his show. He winds up in the history books with a no hitter. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Eric Carroll and Steve Lyons, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. The Mets come out on top, three to nothing. Good night from Flushing.